Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a little get ready with me. I'm showing you guys how I installed this hair, styled it, and my makeup. Yeah, my makeup. It's very rare that I show my makeup on camera because I'm always having to do hair videos, but today I decided to do a little get ready with me. I just decided to do my hair and makeup. Next time I do a get ready with me, I want to do like the whole shebang, like hair, makeup, outfit, perfume, fragrance, whatever. I want to do everything because I want to start getting into more of that type of content too, not just hair, strictly hair all the time. So I want to switch it up and don't want to limit myself. I don't want to limit myself to just one thing on my channel. So if you guys want to see more of that, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want to see more get ready with me type videos where I'm talking more. Let me know. I can do that for you. So if you guys want to see how I got this hair. Here is from Don Millie also. I'm gonna have all the hair details in the description box below, but if you guys wanna see how I got the hair, my makeup, I'll probably link my, I don't think I'm gonna link my makeup because I have a video like a couple videos ago, not a couple, probably a few videos, maybe more than a few. A lot of videos ago I didn't get ready with me or well, my everyday makeup routine, something like that. And I have everything linked in that description box if you guys wanna know where I got some makeup from. And I'll link the video up here up here i don't know which side it goes on but it'll be right there you guys can click on that video if you want to get some products and i'll also link that video down in the description box as well so i hope i remember to link everything that i'm saying i'm gonna link because i be forgetting but if you guys want to see how i got this makeup look this hair then just keep watching okay so i'm gonna be starting off with um the wig for this video i was going to just like install it off camera but i'm like i'm pretty sure i should probably just show it even though i've showed a bunch of times how i install a wig but this is going to be very very sped up i'm not going to show like the whole process of me putting on the wig because that's not the important part or important part is me styling it so i'm not doing the ball cap method because i don't have my hair braided i have like two big braids that i like barely did because i don't want to braid my hair and i've been trying to like not braid my hair as much i just put it on i kind of put a little bit of makeup on my cap just to blend it a little bit since i'm not doing the ball cap method because i don't feel like pulling on my edges um my hair is starting to, my edges is starting to grow back and thicken up so i just don't want to do the ball cap method right now there's one video that i have to do soon where i have to do ball cap method like i have to and i'm just like I don't want to do it. I was gonna do the ball cap method for this one. But I just thought about it. I'm like, no. Alright, doing a middle part because this is 13 by 4 and you know 13 by 4s don't be real 13 by 4s anymore. Like they go down, they go back four inches, but then on the sides you get like two inches apart in space. So it's kind of hard to do side parts. I was gonna use the spray, just the spray, but I'm gonna go ahead and use glue because I just don't want this to be like coming up too soon i think i'm gonna keep this on for like at least a day so i did bleach the knots on this wig and i did i only plucked it like the tiniest bit like i plucked for like 30 seconds probably a minute but that's about it because this wig did come pre-plugged really like it looks really nice it looks really nice i like how it looks it looks pretty natural not super thick so if you're a beginner perfect for you so let's get started with the wig let's style the hair after the makeup because i feel like that'll work best so i'll come back whenever i'm done installing it then we'll start my makeup
Okay, so now we're gonna get started on my makeup. Um, my makeup is still the same as it's always been. I don't, I don't change up really anything on makeup. It's boring. It takes like 10 minutes if I'm not distracted. But I already did my eyebrows, as you can see, because I just don't like doing my eyebrows on camera. I feel like it takes, it doesn't take a long time to do my eyebrows, but I like to just focus. I like to just focus and get my eyebrows out of the way. So I'm starting with the primer that I always start with. This is the No Pore Bloom Primer by Touch and Soul. Um, I use two primers, actually. I just use this one because it makes my skin feel really smooth. I don't put this on my nose, though, because it makes my nose like pretty slick. I try not to put, if you guys see hair under my arms, ignore it because I didn't shave, but I try not to put anything that's going to make my nose slicker on my nose. So now I'm just going to put this other one on. Um, I don't really have anything to talk about because nothing really goes on. Um, so... Yeah, I didn't really think that through. I don't have anything to talk about. I really want to start like changing up my makeup a little bit because I feel like it's so, I've been doing the same routine for like, I've been doing the same makeup routine for like a year straight, probably two years, I don't even know. I just don't really like to change up my makeup once I have it like the way that I like it. Cause I feel like whenever I start going and buying new products, I don't know how it's gonna react with my skin. So I'm just like risking a breakout. So I like to just keep my makeup really simple. Like years ago, probably like, let's say like 2015, um, up until like 2000, maybe 18, 19? I'll say eight, I'll say 19 just to be safe. I was wearing heavy makeup, like, um, oh, I didn't put any on my chin. I was here wearing like heavy makeup, like eyeshadow, eyelashes, super thick foundation, concealer. I was wearing everything that you put on. Oh, you don't rub this pad. I was wearing everything, like even highlighter. I don't wear highlighter anymore. Um, I don't wear eyeshadow anymore. I don't wear lashes anymore. I don't wear thick foundation anymore. I do like a thin layer of foundation because my, one, my skin's getting better. I used to wear like super thick foundation because my skin was horrible. This is one where I wasn't like really, I'm not really into skincare, but I'm like into skincare now. So I was like not really using the best stuff to like get rid of dark spots. I didn't really have acne per se, but I had dark spots. So I was trying to do everything to cover them. So I was using like super thick foundation. I was just wearing thick foundation to cover them because I didn't know what to use to get rid of dark spots. And I am a face picker to this day. I still pick at my face if I'm like not paying attention. So I've been really working on that. Like I have a pimple right here that I want to pop so bad, but I've been like having to sit on my hands to keep myself from touching it. Like I'm, I haven't popped it yet. Like I was squeezing on it last night, but I was like, no, don't do it. I stopped myself before I popped it. So, yeah, that's, what was I saying? But yeah, my makeup used to be very heavy. Um, I'm using the NARS, uh, this is the long wear one, I think, the tall bottle. And this is in Macau. And it's gonna look a little light because I do still have a tan from going to the pool so much. As you can probably see, there's like tan lines still on my chest. Maybe you can see them in this light. But yeah, let me make sure I shake this up good. So it's gonna look a little light, but I promise this is my color. I just, I'm just not about to go buy another foundation just because I have a tan. I refuse. So we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make it work. Does it look, yeah. <laughs> it looks so light on camera, but it's not that light in person. And you see how I'm just like making this little one that little one application spray all around because I don't like for my makeup to be heavy anymore. Like I really like the light look, the light feel. And that's why I stick with this foundation because I get exactly what I want with this one. I don't do other foundations. I tried like last year to get into different foundations. I had bought like the Cover FX one. Well, I think I got the wrong color in that because I just did not like the way it made me look. I think it was too dark for me. And then I bought the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Mm -mm. 
I think that was the wrong color too. But I also just don't like the feeling of it and the way it looked on my skin. So, I don't use that one anymore. Um, I think I got it in like chestnut. It's somewhere here. I don't know where I have it at. But yeah, I don't like it. That's why I just stick to what I know when it comes to makeup. Like, I don't try to change up things. I don't do makeup shopping like I used to. The only time I'm shopping for makeup is if it's just to like refill what I'm, what I'm running out of. Or like a new lipstick or something or lip liner. Something simple like that. Lip liner, lipstick. I don't change up my foundation. I don't change up my primers. I don't change up my powder. My con I might get a new concealer sometimes too. I actually just bought a new concealer like last month. But I returned it. I returned it because it wasn't, I didn't like it. It was the Benefit one that looks like a pencil. Um, is it point? I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but it's that one. And I only put like a little bit of foundation on my forehead because I'm going to be contouring most of it. So I only put it like in the center. In the center. And then there's like a little dark spot in the middle of my forehead. Let me try and get that. I mean, in between my brows. I can't, oh well. But, what was I saying? I didn't like the concealer though. That's, I guess that's what I was saying. I didn't like it, so I returned it. And that was like the last thing that I bought that was like makeup. Besides this, I had got this whenever I went, whenever I went to Dallas because I was out of the little small one. You guys know, if you know, I was using that small one for so long, so. And I stopped wearing makeup as much so that little small one lasting for like the longest time. Okay, am I done? Let me put this on my top lip. Cause if you know about that lip shadow, from the little the little peach fuzz that causes the shadow make you like a mustache. I hate it. And then take a little bit and put it under. So I don't like I have on a mask. Ooh, Over here. I bring my foundation all the way up under my eyes because I'm going to be putting concealer on and I just don't want all that to feel so heavy and look cakey so I don't put any, well it probably goes up to like right there. And I'm back to an old Eva Goody. I'm using the e.l.f. camo concealer because like I said I bought that Benefit one and it just was not that girl. It was not that girl for me. This is in the shade Deep Chestnut. I'm trying not to like waste anything on this. I have on my Skims dress today and I'm not about to waste makeup on it. So I don't know why I put this on, but it's a little bit. Mainly in the corner of my eye because that's where like it looks a little dark. Like that. Top of my lip, chin, a little bit on my nose. A tiny bit right there with my that little dark spot is. And I just blend it. And I'm gonna let that sit for just a little bit so that it can be kind of, I mean it's full coverage already, but I just want it to be a little bit. I'm gonna let the part under my eyes sit. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out cause I don't need that to be as full coverage. I just wanted a little bit more color right there. running out of my little concealers my foundation stick that I used to contour with so I don't know what I'm gonna do like I can't find the shade anymore I can't find it in stores it's not online it's on like their UK website this is the makeup revolution one it's on their like revolution makeup whatever you say I don't know it's on their website the UK website but not on the US website so I'm just like this is like all I have left it's literally all I have left like I can't even twist it up anymore 
So I just take a little bit and dab it on the back of my hand. Where's my little brush that I use? I need to clean my brushes kind of bad. <laughs> That's why every time I put on makeup, my face breaks out. I need to clean my brushes. But I just take it and like dab it. But I was talking about makeup, but I don't remember the last thing I said. But yeah, I just don't wear heavy makeup anymore. I'm not into it. I like to look as natural as possible, but like, we know you have a makeup, you know? Like, you know? I actually get way more compliments on my makeup now than I did whenever I would do like the full face. And I'm just like, how did I do that? I would put on makeup every single day. Like I would just wake up even just to sit at home, I would put on makeup. And I'm just like, girl, why exactly were you doing that? <laughs> like, what was the point of that? Like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know why I was doing that. But I'm glad I'm out of this stage. I only put makeup on if I have to. Like, right now, I'm doing it for a video. Well, I'm about to go somewhere, but I just need to go to Target. I'm doing my makeup to go to Target. And I wanted to take some pictures today because I just don't keep up on my Instagram anymore. Like, I'm so over Instagram. I, I mean, I don't want to say I'm over it, but like, that, what is the algorithm? It just sucks. Like, I stopped posting for like a month or two, like completely. I didn't post on my story for like so long. And then when I finally did, I didn't post pictures or my, on my story. And when I finally did, it's like, where, where are y'all not showing people my stuff? Because like, I was getting like 100 views on my story. It, it took forever, like it took like two hours to get just 100 views. My pictures, like my likes, I still haven't gotten my likes yet. Like, mm, they just, it just takes her. So I'm like, I mean, it's not about the likes, but it's like, I posted a bomb picture. I know I should have more likes than that, okay? It's not about that, but it, you know. I don't really do like work on Instagram, like, I don't do like sponsored posts or anything really because I just I'm just like more into working on YouTube when it comes to that but still like there's gonna be someone that's gonna want me to do something on Instagram along with YouTube or maybe I mean I'm still trying to get 10,000 followers on Instagram <laughs> I'm at like 9,000 something so if you guys are watching this and you want to support me and help me please follow me on Instagram I will have it linked below because I really do need to get 10,000 because I've been at 9,000 for like probably like six months now because and it's because I stopped posting like I just wasn't keeping up with it I was like a period of time I just did not want to do it I didn't I just didn't want to deal with Instagram so I just stopped worst decision ever because now I have to like get back on Instagram's good side contour but I'm gonna figure it out I'm just more of a YouTube girl, I have a TikTok. I don't post on it though. I probably should because I like promote it in my intro. <laughs> like why promote a TikTok you're not gonna post on? But, oh my God, I'm doing everything so wrong. I didn't even set my under eyes and I'm putting on, I'm like, why is my bronzer pulling? And why is that brush like sticking to my face? Because you didn't set your face. It shows you I don't do my makeup anymore because I just don't know what I'm doing. Good thing that concealer is like matte, kind of. Even my bronzer isn't like super dark. Because it's just how I like it now. But I am going to do a little bit more on my forehead. I have two bronzers actually. I have this one, the Fenty one, and the Benefit one. This one is like really, um, this is toasted. It's like really red to me. Like, it doesn't look red, but when I put it on my skin, it gives me like a reddish look. So, um, if I want to do like a little bit more color, like I'll show you. I'll add this like to my temple. Can you all see that? What he just did, like, I don't know. He probably can't because the lights are bright, but just if I want a little bit more color, I'm feeling a little washed out. Probably should have put this on anyway since my 
um, foundation isn't really matching right now. My nose contour, this really isn't even really contouring. I just like try to put some shadow back on my nose. I don't try to make it smaller or anything. I just do it. Um, sometimes I think it makes my nose look bigger, but I really don't care. That's just like how much I'm just like over makeup. I'm not over makeup, but you know, I just, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I still love it, but I just don't love to wear it all the time. And now I'm taking this Maybelline powder in 360 Mocha and just gonna uh, pat where I didn't set my foundation. Cause normally I'll put that powder, my translucent, well that's honey actually, the Laura Mercier powder. But it always makes me look like really white right there when I like clean up my contour. So I just do it like this now. I'm almost done! Like literally, I'm almost done my makeup. So like I have like two more things to do and I'm done. I think I'm just doing my my lips and then my oh no, I need to do blush. So I normally use the Kylie one in Rosy, but I think I want to go with my Rimmel one in the color Wild Card. Which one? I'm gonna go with Rimmel today. Uh, I've been using Rosy like every single time, so I hope she brings those back too. And I hope Kim brings back her um, lipsticks and lip liners. Everybody just want to get like restart their brands, like girl. Y'all could have like gave a heads up before y'all started running out of product and just like never replaced it. Next is oh, I almost forgot. I put just a little bit of this that bronzer, same bronzer, like in my crease on my eyes, just for some dimension. Nothing crazy. It's time for lip liner. Y'all know, if you've been watching me, watch any of my makeup videos, you know what liner I use. That's why I said she needs to bring it back. I use all, all KKW products on my lips. The lip liner, I'm using new 2 point. I'm gonna use, okay, wait. I'm gonna use this one first. This is new two, I believe. It's like almost done. And like it falls out. Oh my God, it falls out. So she needs to like bring those back. Cause I need new ones. So. I'm gonna use this first. Can y'all see that? Can I get closer? I used to overline my lips a lot. Don't know why. I have pretty big lips. I'm not big, but are they big? Are my lips considered big? I don't know. But now I just try to like stay on my lip. Okay, my hand is shaking. And then I go in with 2.5. Why is my hand shaking so bad? And then lipstick time, I use Nude 4 by KKW. Dab it on because I don't want too much product on my lips. This is nude three. I almost put the wrong one on. Nude three is a little too dark for what I'm looking for. I mean, sometimes I'll use it if I like want like a lot of definition around my lips, but today, not today. Okay. Last step. 
last step is my mascara. I use the Maybelline Sky High mascara in black. Um, this is just the one that makes my eyelashes look the best because I have like no eyelashes. I have eyelashes, they're just kind of straight so they don't show. So, this makes my eyelashes look amazing to me. I personally think that. You may not think that, but I do. And I try my best not to get it on my skin because I have a problem with that. I love this look. I love it. I'm just going to go ahead and start styling the hair. I'm going to curl it because I cut it short. Um, I just don't want to do straight hair because it's just not the move for me. i pull out my handy dandy curling iron. You guys always ask about this curling iron. I don't really know the name of it, so whenever I search it, I just try to find the one that looks like it. So I hope I'm showing all the right one. But I got this from TJ Maxx like last year, so I honestly don't know. I probably should have took a picture of the box so I could remember. So we're just gonna speed through the styling process because I've showed a million, bazillion, bajillion times how I curl my hair. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I just curled the hair a little bit. The curls didn't really turn out how I wanted them to. Like, I didn't want them to be so curly, so I just, like, keep brushing them. But it's cool. It's cute. Um, it's okay. They'll drop. They're just kind of tight right now. But they'll drop later on because I did not spray them at all. So, yeah. I don't know if I said at the beginning this hair is from Don Millie Hair. I'm going to have everything down below for you guys. You guys can check them out. I really like this hair. Um, I did dye it black. I only did the slightest bit of plucking to the wig. So I'm going to go now because now I have to go walk around Target or something. I gotta do something. I'm done up. Like maybe I'll go get an iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I'm actually a tea girl now. I drink a lot of tea now. I started drinking tea out of nowhere. I don't like, I never really liked tea, but I started drinking tea now. So, but I kinda want some coffee or do I want food? 
I haven't ate, so maybe I should probably get food instead of coffee. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this little get ready with me. I want to start doing more get ready with me. So I just need to have some stuff to talk about because I don't have much to talk about. So I need to get more things to talk about. So yes, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, bye guys.